All right, YouTube. So today what I got for you guys is a uh, mixing tutorial. So what we're going to do to on this video today is we're going to mix this uh, beat down. This is a uh, Sad Savage. I just made it not too long ago. Um, pretty much I'm just going to show you a basic beat or a basic mix of how I do beats. Um, it's not anything spectacular or anything like that, but just something how to basically clean up the basic uh, frequencies that you need to take out. Just simple stuff. Just, if you don't know how to do anything in the beginning, this will be a good tutorial for you to watch so you can kind of just learn just something simple and basic and how to get started. So first off, this is the beat and this is what we're going to get started with. Alright, so that's the beat, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to highlight all of these like this, right? And then I'm going to right click here and click channel uh, ch channel routing and then route selected channels starting from this track. That way it puts it all in order, see? Uh, let me actually change how this view looks. I like that. And Well, that's not bad either. I don't like that one though. Let's see what that looks like. I don't like that either. I'm going to do this. So we're going to start with the first melody. First off, we're going to start with taking some frequencies out. So you want to pull up your parametric EQ2. As you can see, you can see where the frequencies are, right? So what you're going to want to do is chop out all the frequencies you don't really need. You see how it, it, it quiet the uh, melody down, but it didn't like take away from it. That's what you want. You want to do the same thing for the sub. So like you don't need any type of sub or bass or anything because that's where your 808 is going to sit so you don't want it to sound like too muddy and clouded up by meshing together right and you can take some of this high high end in if you want to you can kind of hear like rubber band type sounds like right here or i can just cut it off and have it just as this sound here it sounds like like rubber bands are like plucky So I'll probably leave that there. You can also click on these and kind of adjust them so you can kind of pinch the frequencies. So if I want to hear more of this rubber band type sound I'm talking about, I can pinch it by scrolling the wheel on the mouse and then picking it up more. See? Um, so let's see. What else do we gonna do? So that's pretty much how I'm like. If we're, I'm on this video, I'm just doing strictly mixing. I'm not doing anything else as far as uh, effects or anything like that. We're gonna keep this one really simple and really basic. So we're just gonna add uh, that parametric EQ on there. So we want to do the same thing to this melody, right? Parametric EQ. And you wanna cut out the unnecessary frequencies, right? Remember, cut out your bass and your melodies, and you just need where the you see the pink bands at. And uh, you can use these little scrollers, like right here, we're using the scroll on your mouse, so you can change it. And I just make it a like a hard cut, so I can cut it out. So what I'll do is I'll boost these frequencies some. to the next one remember you want to get where like you see the most frequency and, wh and where you hear it or, wh or what sounds best to you if there's like a frequency over here that you like want to emphasize more you can do that so like watch this
Tschüssi. Just cut out everything that you don't need frequency wise. And you always want your main melody to be like, kind of like the, the loudest melody. You want to hear that the most. You want that one to be the most present. So like this one, I need to turn it down some. Oh, actually. There you go. Same thing with this one, parametric EQ2. With my uh, hi-hats, all I do is the same thing, right? Oops, my presets. Same thing. You see these are sitting in a different frequency zone, like for a different area. Remember, cut these down, take off the harshness. Now it's not as harsh, right? You, get, you hear the difference? It kind of tones it down. It takes out the unnecessary sounds that you don't need. Same thing with your clap. You're going to want to do the exact same thing. See, that's like the thickest part right here so i'm gonna get more of that so i can make the clap more present and then cut off this high end and see it sounds more crisp like a more of a crisp clap same thing with just snares because everything is going to be in a different frequency zone so if it's in a different frequency you want to definitely make definite uh separations between the different frequencies so that everything sounds clean and clear. It's a, and it's a good habit to go ahead and mix every single instrument that you have. Because even even down to the little simple or uh, simple instruments like this, sometimes I have a bad habit of just making my beats really quick and not doing it. But um, that's kind of because I have good quality sounds as well too. I've, I've taken years to like collect good sounds, so all these sounds are really good quality anyway. So they don't need too much adjusting. So if you notice here, I took a lot of this mid range out because there's not much here, but there's a little bit of. Uh, of like bass here that kind of makes it to where you can feel like the snare hit. I like that. I like you to be able to kind of feel the snare a little bit. So I boosted that and then picked up the and boosted the actual sound of the snare. And then I'm gonna just pull this down a little bit. This sound, same thing. All very just really simple because all you're doing is just cutting out what you don't need. So it doesn't sound muddy in the mix. That's it. It's really simple, like, it, like, don't think about it too much, don't overthink it. And then let's move to the 808s. So with my 808s, the, first, the, the easiest way to just go ahead and mix this is to cut all of this out, right? And strictly just have the bass. And then you pick the thickest part and you kind of make this one a little bit tighter. So you can kind of pinch that part of the punch of the kick, or the 808, and you can hear it and then boost your sub bass a little bit. And then a good thing to do is to use this little dial and separate the stereo. So what this does is it separates your uh, audio sounds, like your, your music sounds, and then your instrument sounds, and then it'll separate the 808s completely from those, those other things. So your instruments and your uh, melodies all sound on one, one layer, basically like this up here, like one layer and the 808 would be separately rather than it all be together into one. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. So you don't want your stuff to peak. You see how it's hit over the orange? You don't want that to happen. So just pull this volume down a little bit. Just maybe a little bit more. And 
honestly this is your best way to to mix so we're going to do the crash real quick and that's literally it And then just tweak the volume. And that's it. That's how you do a very basic, simple, clean mix. Everything sounds a lot better, like a lot clearer, more crisp. You can hear things a little bit better. Uh, you can start panning this up to the left and right if you want you to kind of help fix, uh, help with the clarity as well. So you can hear more uh, things present on this side versus that side, whatever the case is. But as far as mixing, that's pretty much as basic as I do. Like like I told you earlier, sometimes I don't even actually do a, uh, a mix on some of my instruments. But as far as we having a simple, clean, plain, basic mix and clearing things up to make it sound a little bit better, just play with your volumes, make sure nothing's too loud, nothing's too soft, make sure you can hear everything, uh, make sure all your levels are good. And then just kind of look how my uh, levels are on the screen. If you notice, like everything is kind of like, kind of, right here the only extreme is the 808 the 808 should have a little bit more of an extreme than anything else other than your melody right there so pretty much everything is kind of you know right on level and you want to cap it like this so this will help in the mixing process because it's not too loud you haven't done too much or added any crazy uh effects or anything like that so the engineer can actually use this and make sure he mixes and masters the whatever song they recorded on this so that's about it guys that's all i got for you today that's just a simple quick easy plain mix to do um that's pretty much all you got to do it gets you can get way more advanced to start doing a lot more stuff but that's just a basic mix using the uh what comes with fl studio and i've been doing that using stuff like this or using uh the fl studio stuff like a uh, parametric eq for every single beat i've ever made so it's it's a great tool you can utilize it highly suggest it um there's like you know other better there's other things that are better but this it gets the job done is perfectly fine everybody in the industry uses it don't you don't have to go out there and spend the whole arm and leg just to try to make stuff to mix it better this will work perfectly fine i promise uh, so that's pretty much it guys man follow me interact with all my stuff uh like subscribe comment add to the patreon uh, if you want to watch me fin uh, do this whole beat uh, from start to finish and I, I have to still finish it um then you gotta watch the you gotta check out the patreon you know this was a, a subscribers uh request patreon video one of the d savage type beat so i could you know try my best to make a d what i something i could hear d savage rapping on and this is what i came up with i'm not quite finished so the end goal may be a little bit different but i'm at the mixing process so i'm done uh so if you want to see some advanced mixing skills and some advanced stuff you got to check out the Patreon because that's what I'm actually about to get into now for my Patriots, uh, Patreon supporters. Um, so check out the Patreon and become a, a Patreon if you want to see some extra stuff, some exclusive stuff. I got a lot, a lot more things coming out on Patreon here soon. Um, but keep, you know, check me out. Keep following my stuff. Like my videos, like, comment, subscribe, interact with everything because uh, everything helps with the algorithm. Um, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. Just interact. Um, you can follow me on everything on social media is Milan makes peace. If I got it, you'll find me. If you don't, if I don't, you won't. Uh, so just let me know, um, what you want to see, to see next, you know, put some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of this uh, video. Let me know if you think you can hear D Savage on it or somebody else, or who do you think you can hear on this beat? But, uh, that's all I got for you guys. So hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.